All right, guys, today we're gonna try out this Mang Shu Shu place. Let's go. Recently, I heard about a French restaurant called Mun Shu Shu. I got really excited because I really love the name, which in French means my darling. How sweet is that? So in today's video, we decided to give it a try. We also invited one of our friends who's actually from France. And she shared that the owners are actually from France and it offers French comfort food coming from different regions of France. They offer a all day menu, dinner menu, and a brunch menu. We decided to try their brunch menu because I'm very excited about the bread and cheese. All right, let's dig in. Yeah, you, you yeah. Want to go drowning. I told you it's just gonna be drowning. Wait, do you eat this in French? Not in butter like that. <laughs> So do you this is for the heart attack. <laughs> this is for the heart attack. That, yeah, that's not. You just use a little spoon, little mini fork, and just pop that in your mouth. You could probably dump it on the bread too. Dude, I need a spoon for this. Because <laughs> you want to drink the butter. Yeah. You, know, you just gotta you have to soak up the bread and let it drown properly. My friend from France actually shared that there's quite a bit of American influence on the food here because in France, they don't eat this dish <laughs> soaked into butter. There's not that much butter, definitely. And then the butter squirts out. <laughs> I don't know why they give you this if they don't bring them in the, in the actual thing you call it. And it's, it's swimming like green butter. Green butter? Why is it green butter? All right, now let's try the signature raclette baguette. I probably said it wrong, but look at this melted cheese. <gasps> so good. That was amazing. Definitely amazing. One of a kind experience. So basically the cheese is really, really, really nice. And then you just cut it in four and it put a little bit of meat or pickle or both. <laughs> so definitely it's a heavy brunch, I would say. Like after this brunch, none of us ate anything for the rest of the day because it's definitely a heavy cheesed brunch. The bread is like super hard here. I mean, Very that's crusty. how a baguette should be. Very crusty. Yeah. How do you say the word baguette? Baguette. Baguette. Okay. Uh, it's about equal, I think. Yeah. I, I approve of this one. Yeah, the cheese. You want me to make you a, a snail thing? Yeah. A snail sandwich? Yeah. I do know that these snails are definitely bigger than the cruise ship snails. Oh really? Oh yeah. These are huge. Hmm. They're better than the cruise ship. Oh, they're definitely better than the cruise ship. Yeah, but with it all you can eat. <laughs> that is true, right? It's not all you can eat. Cruise ship is all you can eat. This oh, and I know I ate one of these green things. Man, they, they, those are like strong pickles. Which one do you I don't know, these green pickles, and they're really strong. There we go, a perfect raclette, if I said it right. But this one, although it looks really, really small, but it's really filling. And of course, <laughs> snail is our favorite. And they're definitely better than the other snail dishes that I ate in the other restaurants. Granted that we don't eat French cuisine all the time, because, you know, they're pretty pricey and not always easily accessible. On a scale 1 to 10? Solid 8.5. <laughs> Come on, try it. I don't like escargot and this is just butter. <laughs> exactly, so it's not really escargot, it's really just butter and bread. Mmm, <laughs> this tastes really good. I know, I think this thing tastes good. <laughs> A few hundred maybe. Well, if, they need, if they need to be wait. I do really like the Esco goats. I felt like they're definitely very flavorful. What flavor? You may want to ask. Butter flavored. But it's still pretty good. Just drowning in butter. So again, yeah. <laughs> I feel wrong doing this. <laughs> okay. okay, ready? 
Yeah. Looks really good. I don't think you're picking that up to eat it though. <laughs> Actually, I feel bad not ordering it now. Our entrees are here. So our friend got a sandwich. I believe this one is called Croc Madam, if I said it right. So I believe that according to our friend from Friends, she said there are different types of sandwich, one with the egg, one without the egg. I could have been wrong, but the one that's called Madam is the one with an egg. So the fried egg on top. Originally when I saw it on the menu, I was like, it's just a sandwich. I can probably order it like elsewhere. But like this is like one of a kind sandwich. It looks so good and it's so huge with definitely very different sauce like cheese and things like that. And our other friend got a burger. So this burger is definitely Americanized but look how good it is. So cheesy. It's like um cheeseburger with a little bit of green in the middle. He definitely enjoyed his burger. I ordered from the Sunday brunch menu and this one is the lobster benedict. Maybe I said it wrong. This one is the butter poached main lobster English muffin with poached eggs and hollandaise. I may have said any of the all of the ingredients wrong, but I really really enjoyed it. It's definitely really really filling because the english muffin is very very dense and there are two eggs on top with lobsters finally my husband got the chicken this chicken is absolutely phenomenal it looks like a normal chicken from the outside but when you cut into it it's so juicy and flavorful it's so so good highly recommend if you love chicken Definitely, I believe this dish is definitely on the bigger side. Uh, I probably wouldn't finish the whole chicken on my own. So you can also share with your family member. Maybe you order one appetizer and one entree to share. But look at how juicy it is. Woo! So easy to cut and every bite is with flavor. So definitely I can see some American influence on some of the entrees or maybe a lot of the entrees. But definitely they're very, very flavorful flavorful and very tasteful. American burgers have green stuff in it. No, we put lettuce. We didn't put lettuce. They put like Yeah, but this is not lettuce. This is real green stuff. I think they have salads in it. But I put salads on everything. So I don't know how like This is good though. I definitely can approve of this chicken. It's real moist. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, I feel like it's got like a rose a lot of rosemary and stuff on it. I thought it might be for fries. I think it's for chicken. It's, all, it's, it's really for the chicken. It's a, it's a gravy. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a, a so so juice. That's the, the juices from the I chicken can't. that you get. You, like in here, you would use this juice to make gravy. This is a good juice. Yeah, that's what you make for the, the French dip sandwich. Yeah. I do like that sandwich. That's good. Especially when I consider I hate eating white meat because it's just white meat chicken is gross compared to. Are you to eating white meat? Is this white meat? This is white meat. <laughs> I like the dark meat chicken always. Oh, I like better. the I like the chicken juice. <laughs> Knives and forks. It started in the burger. Yeah. 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 I, rem I remember laughing. <laughs> Look at this egg! It's cooked to perfection. I don't order in Chinese. 
ketchup in France. They're made for Americans. I can't figure out how to open this. How do you open this? All right, it's dessert time. Actually, I was so full after eating my meal. I didn't have any room for dessert. But did you know that in French culture, after you finished your meal, if you didn't order dessert, it means you didn't like your meal. So, of course, we gotta try some dessert here. So, here we got the ice cream puff with chocolate and almonds and also the strawberry coolies i believe uh it's very hard to pronounce the items on the menu okay so the puff dessert i do want to say that i like the um ice cream part i like the chocolate part but the puffs were a little bit harsh like they're not as puffy as some of the other bakeries so i do want to say that although it's overall a good dish i didn't think it was the best puffs i've ever had definitely but i really really enjoyed the strawberry coolies i felt like it's the right sweetness and tartness and sourness it's just a perfect dish so just giving you some idea if you're about to order dessert there we definitely enjoyed our dessert but definitely like i felt like the puffs could have been a little bit better because it could have been more puffy or fluffy all right <laughs> Yeah, kind of punchy, but... Yeah, it's supposed to be fluffy. But I'm not going to say it doesn't taste good. Which, which part? The top part, like the little hat on top is kind of, kind of crunchy. It's too hard. It's not supposed to be like that. You want me to party on this? Yeah! <laughs> All right, that was a great dining experience. <laughs> How do you like it? I would 8. say 5. it was pretty good. Definitely worth coming. It's a little bit Americanized French food, but everything is so great. So, but I'm not French, yeah. so it doesn't matter. I can't tell. That's it for today's French. video. Thumbs up, subscribe, <laughs> ring the bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. How do you say bye? Ciao. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> a little bit diff difficult. Bye. <laughs>